In this tutorial we'll be looking at different ways of formatting auto shapes and lines. If you're new to drawing auto shapes you might want to look at our auto shapes tutorial in this same section. Here we can see a circle that I've drawn and now I want to start formatting it so it looks a bit more interesting. There are two main aspects of the auto shape that you can format. The fill colour inside the shape and the line style of the shape's outline. By default, the menus for changing these properties are located around the edges of the PowerPoint workspace. Fill colours are here, and line colours and styles are down here as well. But for visibility's sake, you can just double click on the shape itself to see all of the editing options. The menu that pops up shows you options for changing the fill and the line styles for this shape. The drop down here lets you choose a new fill colour from the default palette for the template you're working on. But if you want more colours you can click here for a bigger range or you can click on the custom tab to browse through a colour map or enter the precise RGB colour code for the colour that you need. Back in the main formatting menu, you can also slide this bar here to make the shape transparent if you need to. When it comes to the properties of the line, you can also choose the line colour in a similar way to the fill colour by clicking the drop down here and choosing the right shade from the various menus. You can also make the line dashed with this menu if you want a dotted or a broken line. And for the line thickness, there are some preset sizes here, but if you want to be very precise, you can manually enter the point size for the line here. Click OK and it will apply all the properties that you've changed. Now as well as changing the colours and styles of the fill and line, you can also add either a shadow or a 3D effect to the shape. The shadow button down here shows you some options for adding shadows of different lengths and alignment to your shape. And the 3D button next to it gives you some different effects you can apply to make the shape look three-dimensional. Now, once you've formatted a shape so that you're happy with it, you'll probably want other shapes you draw to have the same kind of appearance. Now luckily, you don't have to go through the same process of changing the settings all over again. If you click on the shape that you like, and press Ctrl, Shift and C, then highlight one of the new shapes and press Ctrl, Shift and V, PowerPoint will apply all the same formatting properties to the new shape. For more advanced formatting using gradients and transparencies, see our special effects design tutorial. 